this lockdown situation might be the perfect time for one lens, one camera project, and here's why. Hi there, my name is Matti Sulanto. I'm a photographer and a Lumix ambassador from Helsinki, Finland. Just in case you don't know what one lens, one camera project or concept is, uh, you pick one, one lens and one camera and shoot everything on that combination for a certain amount of time. I once did it for nine months. I was only using one prime lens and one camera for nine months and shot everything on that combination. It was a lot of fun. There are a lot of benefits in that and a lot of potential to become a better photographer by only using one lens and one camera. But I can also understand that for many people uh, it uh, sounds uh, limiting and uh, maybe they are afraid to try it in some real life situations. Like on a trip to once in a lifetime trip to some um, exotic location or something similar. But now that you are stuck at home or if you are not stuck at home you are probably stuck at very uh, limited uh, surroundings, your familiar surroundings. You can't go very far from home, probably and unfortunately. So now's a good time to try one lens, one camera project because there's nothing much to lose because you are in your familiar surroundings all the time and um, you're not gonna miss any unique photo opportunities uh, like you would on a trip or on a travel to some exotic location, for example. There are many, many benefits of using just one lens and one camera. I have a whole video where I'm explaining the, all the benefits and I'll put the link to that at the end of this video. But um, in short, the benefits are simplicity. You never have to think about which lens to put on your camera because you only have one lens. And you also learn that one lens 110% during this um, experiment. If you, if you use it uh, for long enough, you know exactly what you're gonna get at every aperture, every focusing distance, every kind of lighting. So you know pretty much what you get even before you lift your camera to your eye. It's a really, really big benefit, believe me. And uh, you also learn to somehow see things differently when you only have this one lens. But check my video for more information or more explanations why this is a good thing. But now that you're probably and unfortunately stuck at home, now's a good time to, to try this. Pick your favorite lens and start uh, exploring or experimenting at home. Observe how the light changes inside of uh, your home or apartment and um, shoot uh, details and uh, document your everyday life using only one prime lens and one camera. And because you are at home, you can't miss any really unique opportunities. So those, so there's no need to kind of uh, be afraid of that. And I'm gonna show you now some examples that I've shot here in my small apartment in Helsinki. This is not a cohesive body of work and not even shot on the same lens. I've used either 25 millimeter micro four thirds lens or 50 millimeter full frame lens. But I'm showing you these pictures to give you some ideas what you can do just in case you don't know where to start.
I hope those pictures gave you some ideas and inspiration. And now let's talk about the suitable gear for a moment. My recommendation for the lens is something moderately wide or standard. And um, for micro four thirds, that would mean uh, between 14 and uh, 25 millimeters and on a full frame between 28 and 50 millimeters. You can, of course, choose something even wider or even longer, but I think uh, those uh, wider or longer focal lengths are not that suitable for general photography. But then again, it's just my opinion. My favorite Micro Four Thirds lenses for something like this are the Leica 15mm f1.7 and the Leica 25mm f1.4. The camera body of course can be any camera body you have and even if you don't have a prime lens, uh, take a zoom lens and put a piece of tape on your lens and lock it at um, your favorite focal length, whatever you choose, so you don't accidentally change the focal length. So pick your favorite uh, prime lens, your favorite camera body and stick with those for a week or even longer if you want and start uh, documenting your everyday life. Uh, with that combination. And keep an open mind. Don't think about all the limitations that you, you have with that gear because you always have limitations no matter how many lenses and camera bodies you have. Think about the possibilities um, that you now have with that very minimalistic gear. Please let me know in the comments down below how it all went or how it started and how did it feel. And by the way, here's the video where I'm explaining all the benefits of using one lens, one camera for a certain period of time. And here's my review of the Leica 25mm f1.4 lens. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next one.